Good afternoon, Internet. This is Greg Bem, and look at what I'm doing. I am spinning. I am putting pressure on both legs. I didn't add a journal entry yesterday, and I apologize for that to all my most faithful viewers, but life took hold. I took it easy and prepared for the craziness that will be this week. Why do I say crazy? Because I have to go to the hospital a bunch of times, including the time I went today to see the pharmacist and learn about Coumadin and learn about uh, Lovenox, which I already knew about, and getting my, um, my dosage moderated and all that crazy stuff. And uh, that'll, and I had to give blood and I'll be going to my doctor, my hematologist tomorrow, and all this crazy stuff is going on. But um, I can walk. I actually walked about probably 30 blocks today, not including the trek from the train to my house. And though I was on Vicodin and there was pain, I was able to do it mostly without a crutch. So, things are rapidly progressing, rapidly getting better. Um, it's very difficult to transition from the hospital where you are cared for and get into this kind of um, uh, swing of repetition and cycles. And uh, it's hard to go from that to a period of solitude and aloneness. You need to replace all of that energy with energy that is manifested from your own actions. And what I mean by that is simply you become your caretaker completely. And while, as you can see from my unshorn cheeks and, um, well, you can't see it, but my dried skin and flaky scalp and Hell, even the rainwater on my glasses here. I'm not the best caretaker of myself. Usually I take care of myself by simply abandoning the self for other activities. And this is kind of a dawning moment where I'm actually... Dawning moment. This is a moment in my life where I'm far more conscientious of the nuances of my own self um, operating almost within a vacuum, to use that stupid metaphor. Um, because this house is kind of like a vacuum. Um, or being inside the belly of a vacuum, anyway. Not to say that that's bad, because this house is obviously quite comfortable. But, um, yeah, very trying. Um, I'm starting to also... Um, once again, look to friends and look to communication to keep me sane, uh, as well as school, which, um, you know, school phases in, phases out, fades in, fades out. Um, I really need to str stay strong and maintain my connection with my schoolwork. And also, um, I'm doing other things. Tonight I'm going to the Columbia City Writers Circle that Anthony and John put on, and, um, I'll be meeting Bill Cardi for stuff later this week, and all this, all this networking it never ends, but it's all about humanity, um, maintaining bonds. And yet, I'm going to be working from home all, all week, so I will be still in this little cocoon or sarcophagus or sarcophagin-like structure, and I hope to get uh, plenty out of it. Um, on a final note for this video, which is already over four minutes, um, I will be releasing a chapbook um, of my hospital notes, and that will include Twitter um, messages, tweets, and it will include pictures, cell phone pictures, and ultrasounds. I'm still waiting on ultrasounds. I don't know even how that's going to be delivered to me or in what form it will be delivered in, to me in, um, and I don't know when. I'm going to have to ask my doctor that tomorrow uh, because I really want to put this out. It's kind of urgent, pressing. Um, uh, I probably will need to write an essay of some sort to go along with it, to make it, to seal the deal, so to speak, to make it um, a legitimate 
Greg Bam document for the archive. Something explanatory, something poetic and spontaneous, spontaneously driven, spontaneously written. I may just write that tonight. All right. Thanks for watching, dedicated viewers. Again, too long, didn't watch it. I am back on my feet. My leg is still in pain, but it's better than it has been. And I love you all.